Well, listen, were you targeted by the NSA? You might be finding out sooner than you think. So grand finale, Greenwald's grand finale. He's going to name the victims of the government surveillance mm -hmm. program here. And we're talking over 2 million documents uh, that the former NSA contractor secretly stole from the government, as we're talking about Edward Snowden here. Those documents are going to be used and now revealed in firework form, sure. perhaps showing some important names out there, maybe your neighbors, maybe yours. Well, uh, keep in mind, we've been told all along, well, the reason they, they're keeping all the mega data, metadata and the reason they, and they do have copies of uh, all your phone calls and all your email, whether or not they choose to listen to them, that's something else. But we were told it was all being done against terrorists, actual terrorists. Well, what if uh, an activist shows up or a dissident or a political critic of the White House? That simply would not be good for anybody. And so Glenn Greenwald, who probably didn't put the list in the book because the uh, federal government would have sued him and then the book wouldn't have come out on its uh, public, uh, publication date, he has decided instead to go ahead and release it. And it sounds like in the next couple of days, this is right. going to be gigantic. Now, he is already, uh, by writing down er everything Edward Snowden said, and Edward Snowden had the courage to run to Hong Kong and then over go to Russia, where he probably belongs. Uh, and so he goes out and gets award after award because he probably is a very good writer and columnist and puts together this book. But keep in mind, it's cost us billions of dollars and compromised our surveillance systems and could we eventually result, if not already, in the deaths of some of our agents because uh, because of the amount of data it's it's actually revealed. Right, and the White, House, guys, the White could, House just released the, the name of the look chief, at, chief of station. Well, that, that was one and that was a mistake. This was not a mistake. This was Edward Snowden stealing information. Mm -hmm. So this he's done this. It was scary that the NSA did not pick up that the, that Edward Snowden was able to do this. At the same time, you look at Michael Hayden and uh, and uh, General Keith Alexander. They said they got it's metadata that was collected on a grand basis. If he wanted to be a whistleblower and write the book, I'd say more power to you. But I think that you have to find a way to be a whistleblower and not compromise our intelligence services and those who are fighting that secret war well, beyond our borders. It seems as though he's indeed looking for a grand finale here. Yeah. And all of your information can and may indeed be used against you uh, as we move forward. This is awfully scary. And really, I think the biggest violation and cost is that of trust when it comes to the American people. Absolutely. What is private? and what is not. And you can agree or disagree with what Edward Snowden did, but did you know before the last year or so that your federal government was, uh, you know, they're keeping all that information about you in some big Quonset hut hidden out somewhere. So it looks like it, 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 it reminds a lot of people of J. Edgar Hoover and what he used to do back in the day. If the federal government is keeping files, essentially, on some prominent Americans who are not terrorists, right. that's going to make the federal government look really stupid. I just don't think he can ever agree with what Edward Snowden did. I mean, stealing stuff that was not even his job description, yeah, but Brian, stealing it from people when they weren't where he could take downloading it into uh, different drives and then running to another country right. with it. Intention is, I think, what everyone is sort of focused on here in terms of violation of information, why it was taken, why it's going to be used, and what's going to happen in the future. What's done is done, but in the right. future, we're now looking at NSA proof email. We're actually going to be talking to the creator of that email and how the NSA won't be able to get their hands on it. You're going to want that info. It's coming up at about 720. It's a good idea. All right. Meanwhile, a tough Memorial Day for the commander in chief, the president praising veterans who are not very happy with him right now as the VA scandal continues to grow. Steve Santani is following that from our nation's capital. Stephen. Good morning, Steve. Yeah, the president is promising our wounded warriors they will get the treatment they need, even as that upper.